Hello friends, it's Roger Gaming now, and we are slowly working our way through the night town of Maestromoto. Uh, we've got a quick level up we can do, so I will try and spread it around. Our magic needs some bonuses. I'll put it in shield battle, I think. Where's shield battle? Since, of course, we switched to uh, trying to use some melee weapons. We can heal up. Oh, she's not the healer. Where is the healer? I guess it doesn't matter. I can just uh, use a spell. And with that, we'll return to 14. Quit wasting your energy, brain beasts, or whatever you are. Yes, yeah, so we're making some uh, progress through this floor. I think we need to get to 15, if I remember correctly. Let's check real quick. Oh, excuse me, 30. <coughs> I said 15, but I did, really did mean 30. So we're about halfway through this dungeon. Hopefully we can make some good progress in this episode. Always looking for that improved gear. And like, for example, this sword we found right now is one of those. Which is maybe not, you know, absolutely good. But still, it's a nice change of pace. Alright, so this looks like it's a similar uh, floor layout to the previous couple, except for instead of lava, it's these empty, uh... Will you tempt fate? Empty, um, like, chasms. <laughs> I want to be careful, like, fighting these Etons in here. Um, and I didn't open the fate statue thing, the goblin, whatever it's called. Oh my goodness. Okay. We see the experience costs get more and more expensive as we continue. Now Alvar is not replenished when I die. So we'll uh, stay off to the side <laughs> for a little bit. Alright. There's one down. Two. Check out these sh shadow blade and shadow swords. I can't remember which one is which. I've already lost one of these. Again, yeah, one of the annoying things about them all being black is it's hard to see. <laughs> I have no idea how many are left. And it doesn't help that my summons are also black. Having. Will you tempt fate? Two obsidians. Well, it's not a rare gemstone. But, um. Yeah, alright. So let's descend the stairs since we happen to be right here, down to 16. Again, if we play our defensive mindset, we should be alright. We got a small floor here. Will you tempt fate? Nice, one point of dexterity. An ally has recovered. You know, I think it'd be funny if occasionally dungeons were programmed to have no enemies in them. Because we've had that happen before, and it's very unsettling. Such as right now, there's no one. In fact, it may even be a... Oh, no, it's not. I spoke too soon. Well, I guess my original point comes back, though. It'd be interesting if that was a thing that could happen. Because in some ways, it's a lot scarier, because you're wondering, where are they? Why is no one here? All right, they could face those, or we could just descend. In the interest of continuing onward, I'm just going to descend every time I find the stairs. Uh, 
And yeah, we don't even have like the mental map spell. So there's not much we can do to streamline the process. This is a cool dungeon layout. I like this theme. There's like green walls. There's a boss over there. Uh oh! Okay. Yeah, no wonder Malvar died immediately. I very nearly died there. I'm not sure what I can do besides just healing myself. It's like they're targeting me. It's this freaking imp. Get out of here. Keep up all of our summons at all times. Oop. Sorry, I accidentally clicked away. Okay, that beetle down should help a lot. Now we just have a boss who's so somewhere in here. Who's lost the red? And yeah, he's pretty tanky. But he's not doing a lot of damage to me personally. Maybe I should get his Komodo out first. Oh. See, when they do over half health, the question then becomes, how am I going to heal? Am I going to pause and heal with the charms? Because if they do less than half health, I know there's a good chance that I have time to use a spell. The problem is when you use a spell, you're not running anymore. <laughs> so it puts you at a disadvantage in that sense. Are multiple Komodos? I don't know. It's so hard to tell what's going on, especially in this dungeon. So heal him up as soon as he comes back. Komodo's dead. I'm almost dead. Who is left? I have no idea. <laughs> Probably it's still that boss, though. I don't know where he ended up. There he is. Is he actually red? I was thinking he's like a mushroom, right? And he's right there. You can see him. Alright. Ally levels up. Poison to go around. And, um. We got here. Uh oh. Some intense damage dealing is that is what we've got. Where is the unicorn? I'm thinking we want to get that guy muffled. Yeah, there we go. Kobold. Unlikely he can use magic. Firing spell. Oh, whew. nice try. Back to the Komodo. One of the weaker enemies I think we've seen so far. Seems to go down fairly quickly. Kobold's a little bit stronger, but I mean, not that much. If I could figure out how to click on it, I would take that Empire Staff. There we go. That's a, um, a vanilla rare item, I'm pretty sure. These giants in these ends are where you gotta be careful. Certainly don't want to get too close to them. I feel like these brain beasts the right idea with the reflect. Oh, it's not good enough, unfortunately. 
it requires a lot more strength than that one does than I've currently currently using. Uh, whoa, there's a dragon over there. Black dragon. Okay, that's weird. This time it actually says black instead of BK. That's really strange, actually. I don't know why would you. One of them would be different. I guess it does kind of confirm what we already knew, that BK means black. It's not hard to figure that out, though. Moto's dead. 3,000 experience for that. Almost 4,000. Almost dead. Come on. survive like half a second longer. Alright, bearing back the warrior, we got a boss goblin it looks like. Remarkably weak. He's weaker than some enemies we've seen. Oops. Drops a lot of stuff. I am stuck. I cannot move. I wonder if it's because of these guys. Let's dispel them. Oh. I got freaking rooted again. I hate that spell. It just does nothing but annoy you. Well, I guess we'll bring these back. Think of something to talk about. We can uh, ooh, give him 20 points. We'll do what he's good at, which is strength. We want to have one of these closed at a time so that we can always see what's going on. Or, excuse me, that we keep... Uh, We need this route to run out. So we can upgrade his critical strike. I think eight points there would be useful for him. Eight seconds left. Find something to talk about. Find something to talk about. And we're off. I guess it gives Malvar some time to come back. Horus, huh? is just about back, so we'll get that healing spell ready for him. Heal him up. And let's get this F dead. We need to be especially careful with it, though. Before it comes into the last second. Alright, another Empire Staff. Oh, I just swarmed in. Got a red demon, which is my pet, and a black demon. One of which is dead. Gargoyle. Also dead. Who's left? Another demon. Alright. There's like a certain like little timing thing where if they come to attack you, you can almost always avoid the first hit by just moving out of the way. Like none of the attacks are fast enough where you have really any serious risk. It's a big shot. It's probably the rage attack of Malvar. Sell some of my stuff to the fish vendor I want. Maybe I'll do that. Ugh, that awful voice. I don't know how I picked that up. 
I'm never going to use those obsidians. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for greens all around. One of these gold cards is what I want. I don't know why a spell was just used. That's weird. Elite Cave Giant, huh? Those are both good, actually, in different scenarios. I'll buy both of them. Actually, these are all good. Which is the best? Looks like Komodo Champion is. Maybe that one, though. We lose magic, but this doesn't lose all of its magic. So we're going to do this, actually. Let's uh, transform my pet to a Komodo Champion. And right on cue, he's fleeing. Let's heal him up. Let's see him over there. So much health it takes forever to heal him. Dead end. Let's take a look at him. Where is he? Hmm. Well, now that he's there, yeah, I think we made the right call. Um, so let's sell this mace. We'll keep exploring. Hey, that's not too bad. 900,000. Alright, so we've kind of checked out the central area, so we'll move to the sides. Let's see what we got over here. Dark Elemental. Kind of ironically enough, it's the only thing that has light that we've seen so far in this dungeon. <laughs> he's got those particle effects. And he's ridiculously weak. Hmm. Tor Weirdo spell. Oh, I've already learned it. I've already learned Tor Weirdo? What does it do? Oh. I can't believe I never knew that. I. Okay, so the game crashed and put us right back at 17. Which is unfortunate. So we lost our pet transformation. Um. But, I do know how to get to the stairs. Just by going this way. So I'm going to make a risky uh, dash for it. Just because I want to see if the game's going to crash again. Because if it does, we don't want to waste our time here. So unfortunately, if we try and descend to 18, the uh, game crashes. However, we are able to return to town. So unfortunately, this might be it for this uh, this place, the night town. I don't know. I guess we're kind of stuck here. Look around, see if there's anything worth purchasing. Not really. I don't know. Let's look at the spells. Laser spell, huh? Have the enemy's life force. This spell cannot affect the same target more than once. That's really good. So one time it halves how much life they have? That is absolutely worth putting up. So we're going to go to my book. <laughs> we'll delete Tor Weirdo. Hmm, so it looks like uh, bonuses don't do anything to it. Interesting. That could be could be quite useful, I would say. Um, so we'll keep that up. I don't know what this is.
Well, that's free. It's a spell, though. Right. <laughs> Just one of those weird little quirks. There's all sorts of strange things in this game. Well, I think since we can't descend any further, it's unfortunate because this one actually has a realm boss that we had something we could see. But since that's not going to happen, we're just going to enjoy a nice little piña colada. And we'll figure out what to do. I don't know. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.